Greetings. This is the team that I'm going to be using this weekend. I called them the Forgotten because they are, of the Italian versions at least, a lot of them are, the Forgotten Italian players. Donnarumma is in our Italian RTG, but there's no other options really a keeper. I'm not, I'm not about to play with Buffon. Berardi because I kind of felt like he was a decent card, but not good enough to make it in my main Italian road to glory. Di Natale because you guys always tell me to use him, but I never do. Cannavaro is not really forgotten, but I don't know. I just put him in there. And Zambrotta, I did use the baby, but I guess the left back is kind of forgotten and then everyone else kind of speaks for themselves. Players who were dominant and beastly in real life, but frankly, they're kind of just ass on FIFA. Is this a normal episode of the Italian RTG? No, it's actually not even the same account. This is my other account that I play exclusively live at twitch.tv forward slash Stallion Asama. And this is an account that going forward, I'll be just messing around with sometimes if I don't feel like playing with my Italian RTG, such as this weekend where I thought we were going to have prime icon moments, but we still don't have those. So I can't really do much on that account. This is where this account comes in and I just mess around and do random teams. So what better way to fill the time then use the forgotten italian icons you guys know my 433 tactics it's the same as usual and i would actually try and play 433 with this uh, team but honestly it wasn't the formation nothing was going to save what was the horrific gameplay courtesy of my internet shutting down so here we go and so the journey would begin at o and o we face borgo deal gonna make that enunciation as clear as possible and i get a free win a lot of people ask me stallion how do you get free wins well step one make a team that uh, will have your opponents feeling sorry for you step two reap the rewards and that's pretty much it there you go stop playing ben yetter and maybe you'll get a free win in the second game, we try again a little bit more of Vieri. Like I said earlier, we're playing that 4-3-3, putting Vieri on the wing in Zaghi up top. It's weird. It's unconventional, but it's what we've got. Please, Dina. Thank you. I'm quickly realizing that 4-3-3 might be a lot more difficult in this at least for so i thought i think at the end of the day no matter how bad these players are and no matter how you know maybe not suited they were for the 433 the main obstacle this week for me was the connection i mean it was unbearable not the servers it was my internet something was up with my internet throughout the entire stream i had stutter lag delay like everything and i never have speed up lag stutter lag but we had to fight and continue and zagi assist Come on. But again, I underestimated that connection disadvantage. And so the difficulties would begin right away. Why is Berardi my center mid? What just happened? What the fuck is happening? Please. Yes. What's the point of these 90 rated defenders with 90 defensive awareness, but they can't cover for shit? Are you fucking kidding me? I'm in disbelief. I, I, I just don't know how I'm conceding. A corner when I have Nesta, Baresi, and Cannavaro in the box, but I'm conceding corner kicks. You know, it's it, it, it really is a fascinating thing. It's fucking fascinating. I'm I'm uh, two corners in a row, back to back. We concede. I got Baresi, Nesta, and, and thing like, yeah, I get it. I'm gonna be vulnerable through pace, sure, but there, nah, that's that's bullshit. Right. What's the point? What is the point of Inzaghi at this at that point, you know? Right. Whatever, dude. Who the fuck is that? They just didn't want me to score. I tried the Hail Mary attempt of constant press, but on his first attack pa past, you know, my constant press he would end up scoring. We wouldn't get him up. We would try and, you know, learn our team. Uh, Vieri here doesn't score. If that was Darmian, he would have scored. If you know, you know, eventually we do get the goal. But look, did you catch that? Did you catch that? 
Look at that speed up lag. Look at that speed up lag. Even there, man, this internet connection is dead. So at this point, the whole weekend was in jeopardy. And the last question, the only question was how long could this journey last? Nice stuff for the love of God. Nice. I can't, man. The real Dude, this isn't even a pay to win issue. This is a fucking server to win issue. Jesus. Inzaghi. You have to- No, that was Pirlo. I'm still blaming Inzaghi. I don't give a shit. Even if that was Pirlo's shot. What the fuck is Inzaghi? What's, what, what is your purpose in this game? Pen. I can't- I can't fucking do this. Put a ball. Let's go, Berardi. Yes. No. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Please. Yes, Vieri. Finally, something useful. We survived. But at what cost? At the cost of starting to hate what should have been a fun episode, what should have been a fun experience. We need some catharsis, especially you guys, because for all the times you guys told me, get the Natale, get the Natale, we're here it is. This should be catharsis for all of you guys. Di Natale getting involved there, and finally Inzaghi proving to be of some use. Not once, but dare I say two times? Two times? I mean... Oh, is he left stick dribbling to finish? Okay, a rare, rare utility from uh, Inzaghi, and this would be the catharsis we needed for now. For now, no promises as to how far we're gonna, you know, endure this absolute agony that was this weekend league. But again, I, I'm being too harsh. I'm being too harsh on this team. The the biggest chunk of fault goes to my internet that made this speed up lag experience purely unbearable and even so we did manage to break through the constant press in this play and that di natale 6-0 would be all she wrote for this game so at this point we had to continue this hot streak for as long as possible Yes, who is this, Pirlo? Please, Inzaghi. Yes, man. Why can't we all just ride the waves, you know? Yeah. About 10 hours after I actually pass, but somehow we end up with the goal. But is he right back? Falso Nueve. Inzaghi? That's what I'm talking about. Come on, Vieri. Power through, baby. Yes. Damn, he just destroyed Zambrotta. Unbelievable. Let's go. Gattuso, the most, the unlikeliest of assists. No, what a shit way to concede. <laughs> Let's go, Dina. This guy's name is Rospo Jelos. That's Jealous Toad, by the way. Oh my god, what a goal. Now at 6-1, and one, I had one idea. I knew the connection was awful, but I know that I wanted to play all the games for the content. And as you can see right there, Del Piero was brought in to help us navigate through. I bought Prime Del Piero, and we said goodbye to the forgotten Inzaghi. Truly forgotten. Vieri. Vieri.
Vieri. I like how it to say his name multiple times to just hype myself up about Vieri. And then it wouldn't take long for this. <sighs> Why, bro? Because pain is the essence of life. But essentially, like I said, Del Piero was brought in to help make the last games easier. I got dragged the fuck out there, man. Unfortunately, other things came at play, but AC at right back was not the play. Just when you expect keeper movement, they don't move keeper. What? Was that hand? I'm gonna tell my kids that was the hand of God. And I'm gonna tell them that this left foot was Messi's. Fieri. So 2-2. Two, two. We should be happy that we've caught up. We've dominated the second half, so we're confident. But instead, just when you think that we were going to get over the hump, this man breaks all the gentleman agreements of gentlemen's agreements. At 2-2, two -two, he puts constant press on. I get it. You're down by a goal or two in the last 10, 20 minutes, and you're going to turn it on. Fine. But to turn it on in 2-2, two -two, to abuse it, to ride the wave of the AI, while I'm riding the wave of Yeri? Shameless. So needless to say that we would end up losing. Uh, this game and it was a shame because that was essentially the game that made me realize combined with the gameplay conditions that we were going through that I wasn't gonna last the full 20 games there was no way I was just gonna make it to an even 10 and call it a day and I know that's disappointing because we're using a fun team the forgotten Italians but I'll tell you what there's nothing fun about using these guys not in this gameplay at least and I think perhaps we can put a rain check to this idea further down the line when the prime moments are out maybe we can do a special edition forgotten icons but this time with the prime moments and hopefully they're juiced enough and hopefully my internet is not poop in the bed like it was this weekend and it will be a more bearable experience that being said obviously guys this weekend with us having played on our second account which like i said is ironic the forgotten team on the forgotten account kind of made me realize that sometimes we might just take a break from the italian rtg and play on this account which is not the italian rtg account and just do random teams we'll see how it goes as we approach the end of the episode you may have noticed that we're actually in a pen shootout in what hopefully will be the last game because that means that would be eight to ten games completed this guy if this guy would have gone one more time down the middle I would have headbutted my monitor somehow we win and as you can see maybe I went overboard with a celebration but I have no shame my mental was completely gone at this point we had survived and hallelujah boys it was over apologies that we're only gonna do uh, the one gameplay episode for the week uh, but maybe there will be more videos hopefully you guys enjoyed and I'll catch you in the next one peace